Well, welcome here to David Farrington Park in Wellington. Splendid day here at, uh, at the park and in Wellington. So about 11 degree temperatures with a fresh south southerly breeze. Pitch looks immaculate, as always. They uh, do a great job down there. The, uh, the 18 yard boxes and the area where the assistant referees uh, do their work. There's a, there's a hybrid grass structure in there, so it's a, a good way for them to keep that uh, nice green and even surface out there. Well, we're should bound to be in for a great game. There's the Miramar Rangers home team, captain by Sam Dewa. Got a very hot uh, on-form Hamish Watson, who's leading the goal-scoring stats in the Central League and you had the likes of Andrew Bevan and Sam Nathan smith who's been contributing some goals. Young Liam Wood who's uh, ex-Phoenix Fay League so a very good looking Scott Hale side and he'll be excited about uh, having them out there today. The Bill Robinson coached Napier City Rovers team. Got a young keeper there and Oscar Mason who will be off to under-20s camp this week. No doubt uh, he'll be looking forward to that and means he'll miss out on some secondary school football, but uh, that's the way it goes. James Hoyle and Chad's captain of the side again today. Eight season, uh, probably over 100 caps there, but uh, and uh, you've got a Canadian um in this in this side here today, in the in the shape of a number thirteen, Leaford Allen, he's been uh, come over from semi pro from Canada, eight goals in thirteen games. So it'd be interesting to see him uh, ply his trade out here today. Now the Central League have a, a trophy up on this game, the O'Brien Shield, a a shield that is uh, competitive or held by home side. So Miramar Rangers they have been in charge of that shield for since June 2019, held it for 29 times in a row. So that's on the line today. It was Napier City something to play for. See so referees and Aaron Clark, assisted by Don Barry and Sean Liu. Now we'll bring the sides out. It'll be interesting. Uh, we've got to, it was the last game here for Napier City Rovers, already qualified for the National League Championship. As are Miramar Rangers, so they'll be joined by Wellington Olympic and, of course, the Wellington Phoenix Reserves from the Central League area. They will join Kashmir Technical and Christchurch United from the Southern League and Auckland City, Birkenhead United, Auckland United and Melville United make up for the, from the Northern League this competition that uh, will hotly awaited competition, National League Championship. And Miramar Rangers has, uh, have got one more game where they head up, they, they'll face Wellington Olympic on the 23rd in the last game of the year. And that could very well be a title decider. Got to say Wellington Olympic have uh, hit the table at this stage. They're uh, visiting Havelock North Wanderers today. And uh, sit at the foot of the table, of the Central League table. So if Miramar can get this one, Wellington can take three points from their game. We've got a very good looking fixture that will decide the league on the 23rd. Wellington Olympic currently with a two goal or a two point lead over, over Miramar Rangers. Well, a big shout out to uh, Napier City Rovers fans at their Thirsty Whale. 
No, they'll be all settled in and uh, in behind their boys in red today. Napier City Rovers uh, will be coming up with a 50-year anniversary next year, next Easter. So if you've had anything to do with Napier City in the past, make sure you uh, head along to their website and uh, get involved. I'm sure it'll be a good, uh, good function. Right, we seem to be all underway here. Napier City Rovers will kick us off and head towards the club rooms. And we're underway. We go uh, deep into the shadows of David Farrington Park here today. Any good. Both sides just trying to try, we'll be trying to settle in. Napier City Rovers were being on the bus pretty early this morning to get themselves to the game. Not sure if they'll stay the night over or uh, do a trip back. It's just, it's what Napier City Rovers do, don't they, in the Central League? Dude, must do a power travelling. There's a must lead pass here that might give an opportunity to Henry Mason. He's balls clipped in. But cleared well. Hamish Watson propelling it forward. And again, looks to create some width, but to no avail. Quite a formidable pairing of uh, Miramar Rangers players and Sam Mason Smith and Hamish Watson up top there for the Blue and Black boys. As they look to consolidate some position here and try to get some rhythm into the game. Working their way down. Or Napier City trying to work themselves down the left hand side, but to no avail. Cardi playing here from Captain Sam Dewa. Yeah, the ball must have made its way up into the bush that surrounds David Farrington Park. Good pressure in there from Captain Dewa. Well, a tidy little touch here from and strike from Allen. Clipped in there from Schofield. Good bit of experience. Look about it, this uh, Napier City Rovers team. Plenty of players who were around when uh, they won the Chatham Cup a few years ago. The Central League double, I think. James Hoyle being one of those players. Been ever present in this Napier City lineup. The last eight seasons. Here we go, a bit of space in here for Murmur Rangers cut back. Shot towards goal, spilt, but cleared. Cleared well there by Caden Akers. It was number seven, Max Faulkner, who drove into the box, cut back, got the shot on target. Mason was uh, unable to hold it, but fortunately his teammates were there to Clear that one up for him. Yeah. 
Good, good effort there and there from Napier City Rovers, but nothing going on. A bit of a clash in there at uh, referee. We'll still have we make sure that is it Alan down there? It's got a bit collected up and look too steady, but hopefully he's able to continue. We're back underway. Well, a bit of an unweighted, poorly weighted back pass in there that gave an opportunity to, I think it was Henry Mason, Harry Mason, a 21 year old, found himself in a good load of space. He couldn't get quite get the pace on the shot that was required, and keeper De Groot was able to handle that. And here's uh, Watson, maybe just creeping offside there. Belcher, go back to Mason, Oscar Mason. Napier City with a pair of brothers out there enjoying their football. Watson trying to get things underway quickly, but no one was on the same page as him. And it's easily back into Rogers' position. Clever play is to reset. As Teddy Doe had an opportunity to weave around a couple, but lost position in doing so. Here he is on the ball again. Dewa goes back. It's launched forward. Good retention of position in there by Malavanovic. It's Watson, gets inside the 18 yard, weaves in. He will look to drive that across and in. There we go. Hamish Watson adds to his tally. So dangerous. Cuts back on his left, lets it go. And somehow it's gone right across the face of the keeper and then tucked inside the far post. Well, Napier City would know the kind of threat that Hamish Watson brings to the game. He's been doing scoring goals for fun many years here in National League football with Team Wellington and really just as another class above when it comes to this league. He'll be looking forward to, he'll be one to watch as that National League progresses. Well, here's another opportunity, a bit of a slip. From the Napier City defender, but now the ball's back in position for Miramar. Great drive into the far post, and oh my goodness, we've got another goal. We might have to attribute that one as an own goal. This is driven in. Great driving run into the box, straight across the six yard box, and the defender could only but turn it into his own net. He was, if he wasn't there, would have been a dead set tap in for the Miramar Rangers player on the far post. But we're eight minutes in. We've got two goals for the home side. Miramar Rangers. Well, the uh, Bill Robinson will be unhappy with that, that's for sure. And he. Uh, He's got himself on the bench again today, talking to him earlier in the week. He really 
Didn't want to get back. Didn't want to get on the field as much as he's got had to get on a couple, three times this season. And obviously, he feels like he uh, might have to get on again today if, if required. Maybe a city are going to have to burn things up here. And it's Allen who flicks it on. Well chased by McNamara. Playing into space here. We've got Lack on the ball. Weaving, trying to get himself some space. Well defended by Miramar. Here's the ball. Whipped in. It hasn't gone far enough. And Mason, Harry Mason, already had a decent shout there for handball, but it was fair whipped in against the Miramar Rangers player, closing it down. It would have been pretty hard for him to avoid. It's a decent looking throw here in the direction of Watson. Akers there getting dispossessed. Here come Napier City Rovers, but the cover defence is good from from Mason Smith. Comes the work down the Acres putting it in. But uh, didn't quite get the delivery he wanted. Andy Bevan out there just getting the ball clattered against him. It's Rogerson just drops it back. Spreads it out to Midgley. He's got a bit of room to move in. Looks for the space to play. In Supanathon. Midgley. Up and cleverly back by Liam Wood. Then gives a bit of width for the keeper to group to find. Things just starting to... Bevan, the uncharacteristically just knocking it out. He's an ex Napier City boy. Well, he grew up in Napier and uh, but spent a lot of time playing in and around Team Wellington. He's uh, just welcomed a new baby onto the scene this year, so uh, congratulations. So it just uh, reintroduces himself back into the game. Just in time for National League football, I'm sure, sure it was all very well planned. Hoyle just dropping deep, exchanging passes with Oscar Mason. Good transfer play out to Doe. Neil not being able to find a way through. Back to Doe. It's Napier City trying to swing the ball across. Trying to create himself some space. Paul going to go for a bit of a surging run. Can't get past Sufanathon. Who just clips him on the way past. Wilson Sufanathon, ex Auckland United. Down here for university. He's been in the reckoning for the uh, New Zealand under 20s. Andy right sided attacking player. Ball clipped in. It's good, well defended so far. Clipped back in by Lack, but to no avail. No, not threatening at all. Doe will go back to Oscar Mason. Oscar Mason, Cliven. Switch a play. Schofield doing well to get around and keep possession. Ball into near post. Well cleared. For the Miramar defence. Hoyle. No, Henry Mason. Looking out. Uh, wanting the free kick. It hasn't come his way. And we're either going to have a Throw in or a goal kick here. Yeah. 
Well, Miramar Rangers, it's a great football club, been around for a long time, 1907. Things got started here. And winners of last year's South Central Series. They want to hit some good form going into the National League. We've still probably got their eyes on the opportunity to win the Central League. They're going to have a game coming up against Wellington Olympic. If they can get this one in the bag, it'll all come down to the last game of the season. Watson doing well to control that one, but just referee's assistant already must have drifted offside. There's Schofield trying to get through two, can't make it. With a sliding effort in there. And the young Napier City Rovers player just might have got clipped a bit. Sam Lack. Good strength in there from Allen. Just drawing another. McNamara is. Unable to connect with his teammate there, but he's we've got another throw. Allen giving some pace. Looks strong on the ball, and he's clipped one in. It's deflected off Napier City player, and uh, Marama will try to switch it. But fortunate the image lead with his pass. They go at this one. <laughs> Oscar Mason launches it forward. But a bit too high. Don't so give Mason Smith something to chase, but easily cleared. And it's Doe who got ahead to it to put the ball out. Back to the safety of Darut and Miramar Rangers just to reset things. Navy City with a bit of a fly movement forward here. Schofield on the ball. He's going to have a crack. But it looks like the ball might go for a corner. No. Good pressure on. Too much pressure on from Leaford Allen. He's trying to let it roll out for a corner, but good pressure from Midgley. And across the back they go. Watson coming short. Up and down the line from Dewa. Mason Smith just giving a bit of press forward. Hoyle. Giving the one two. Down the line it goes. Midgley clipped in. Henry Mason there. Working hard to try to get position under. Position here for Napier City Rovers. Some space here for Bevan to work in. Cross goes in, but cleared well at the moment. Bevan. Square ball in, but it's now Napier City's ball. 
Moves across to Fergus Neal. Tidy turn in there from Lack. Clever header in there from Dewa. Searching ball for Bevins on the ball. He's cut it back to the 18 yard box. Went to Watson, but the desperate defence was in there. And, and Mason Smith's jump was well away from the ball there. Well spotted by the referee. And a free kick will go the way of Napier City Rovers. Well, a bit fortunate there, Napier City. And the ball gets into Hamas Watson in that 18-yard box. Odds on, it's heading goalward, and uh, and he did did make that happen. But the defence was there that time. Good work in there again from Bevan. We'll learn to change pass, not going exactly where we wanted, but he fought hard and got the ball back. So able to get it forward, but Doe on the ball. For no PC Rovers enjoying a bit of position in the centre of the park here. Oil's going to clip, clip it forward. Henry Mason, switch of play. Looks like he's just got a wee bit too much fight on it. And Jack De Group doing well to cover his box. The Kiwi, Kiwi born and UK raised player just uh, recently came out to New Zealand. Got himself involved in the under New Zealand under 20 trials. But um, coach Scott Hales has been more than impressed with the young man. Good little tussle in there. And Dewa comes away with it, gets it into Mason Smith, who lays it back to Malotrovic. Molo Vanovic, another UK based player, Norwich under 20s captain. He's only had six games here, but uh, slotted straight into the starting lineup of Miramar Rangers. Napier City going to. Add a few players to the attack here. Long ball going in. In towards goal, but... Harmlessly drifting across. Even doing well there to good, create a good contest for the high ball. Didn't fall his way this time. Black. Interchanges and passes in there. Tidy playing here from Miramar Rangers, number six. Solomon on the Opportunity here for Miramar Rangers. They tried to spread the ball. Out to Mason Smith. Going to feed it out to Salafilathong. Take on his uh, marker. Clips it in with the... Watson throws a leg at it. They can't quite wrap, his, wrap the old foot around it and get it goalward. Tidy ball in there from Salafilathong. Allen gets up. Mace Henry Mason just retains position. Back into Doe. Doe will spread it out to his right hand side. Feeds the line. Allen able to recycle it back to Doe. Doe getting it into Neil. Mason. 
And well, good string of passes going on here for Napier City Rovers. Out the back they come, they'll switch it. Out to Hoyle. Look, see some space in front of him. It's just a Schofield. The two number eights go to battle there. And McNamara and Dewa. Dewa coming off the better. So strong in there. Watson able to get the ball under control and giving Mason Smith something to run at. It didn't quite come off, but it was very close to being another opening for Miramar Rangers. Looks like Miramar got the full bench out there warming up. Beats sitting down, I suppose. Allen just losing the contest for the ball there. Here comes Murrumau Rangers. Watson settles the ball down. Looks for the best option. Jura switched the ball out to his left side to Akers. Bit of a coming together there. The referee doesn't see much in it. Switch a play from Oscar Mason to Hoyle. Immediately put under pressure by Watson. Schofield interchanging passes into McNamara. You get it and travel on. But Allen unable to get it to him, but it's still pressure on here from Napier City Rovers. Bit of strength in here. McNamara's going to have a crack. Schofield will have one. But John fortunately looks skyward. Unfortunately, unable to keep it under the crossbar for the Napier City Rovers. Trying to get themselves back into this game. Kamara just going a wee bit of hope. They get the ball into Leap and Allen. Things do look dangerous as they look to work and things in and around him. So the defense has been pretty solid for Mumbai Rangers. Not too many option opportunities given. Oh, good win. McNamara able to turn. Goes the ball to Doe. They all come out to Hall. Schofield push the ball into space here for Harry Mason to chase on to, but the ball wins that contest. Well, as we come into the half hour mark, 2 0 lead so far to Miramar Rangers. They'll be pretty happy with the way it's going so far. Mason Smith gets the ball forward. Bevan had to cope with a bit of close attention there from Hoyle. Suggests that they probably have played a bit of football together, those two. D what? Go square. McNamara laying it off. They were doing really well. It's like uh, Scott Midgley there was halfway through uh, getting changed. Might have uh, had a shirt malfunction or something there. Back to Beltrap and Samoa and under 20 international. Pass just misses Allen out. Comes Midgley. A ball into Safanathon. It's 
Switch of play here from Murmur Rangers. Mono Vanovic playing his part in there. Watson's come short for it. Feeds the ball to Mason Smith. Ball into oh, right the way across to Midgley. Midgley might have a bit of room in here. Gets the ball into Watson. Might have been better to have a strike there, but. And look at that. Captain Dewa was involved in the attack. Immediately as that, trans that position transferred into Napier City Rovers hands, he collapsed into the defence and did very well to cover that ground. Watson again with some space and time. He run out of room though. Frustratedly kicks out it to the signage there. That ball. Would have given him some opportunity to whip a ball in. Boyle into Belcher. Belcher switches plays. Mr. Mark. But Aikens is able to bring that in. Doe trying to get a bit of go forward with McNamara. Things just not flowing for Napier City just yet. Mason Smith, strong on the ball. Plenty of challenge in there for him, but he's dispossessed. And McNamara might have just drawn a f foul there. Dave will get us underway. It's a short pass. Working McNamara into that right hand side. He's going to clip it in. It's gone into the far post, and Midgley's done well just to flick it on, and it will be a corner. The first corner of the day. Schofield here's left foot. Going to be employed to whip it in. In towards the near post. Flicked on. Thumped in towards Skull. But well covered by young Jack DeGroot. Good opportunity there for Napier City Rovers. Flicked on by the near post runner. Midgley asking for support. It's found Watson. Watson goes on to Sifalafong. Can't keep the ball. Nice work in there from Harry Mason, but just a touch too much. Safranathon dead in there. Mason Smith can't quite grab the ball back. For Miramar Rangers, and out come Napier City. Mason Smith pouncing on a bit of loose play there from Napier. Tries to weave his way into some space but can't do so sideline creeps up on him Caden Akers to take the throw here his uh, father used to play for Napier City Rovers continues a good tradition in here only 16 years old or well, no sorry been at the club for 16 years big my pardon over 80 caps Caden Akers the long uh, Serving stalwart for this club. Midgley, long throw. Back to Rogerson. Rogerson's rolled it into Bevan. Who goes square to Mason Smith? Mason Smith looking for his striking partner in Watson, but the connection wasn't there. The keeper 
Oscar Mason able to tidy that one up. Hoyle. Back to Belcher. Allen and Rogerson just coming together there and referee Clark seeing a foul in there by the defend defensive player and it's going to have to be some assistance brought on for Rogerson recently returned from a shoulder injury so let's hope it's nothing in that uh, shoulder department for him. An Ole Academy product. Been playing, had some time playing in Sweden. But a bit of concern. Does look like they might be working on. Having a look at that shoulder, at a shoulder. There's a few other games going on today around the central region. As we mentioned, Havelock North hosting Wellington Olympic. Phoenix Reserves hosting Wellington United. North Wellington hosting Petoni and Western Suburbs hosting Waterside Karori. As we found, or found the National League qualifiers already, so we'll just be sorting out the places with those other games. And Rogerson has gone to the side to receive some more treatment. So Napier City, a player advantage here. Ball's gone straight in at the keeper. The Napier City Rovers attack is not able to just get a touch on that one. Might have made it very complicated for Jack Dorit to deal with, but in the end, bread and butter stuff for him. Mason Smith. Expecting an area overlapping runner, wasn't there. Dewa controls, spreads the play. Mason Smith so strong in there, able to just do a loot, get the ball under position and elude some close intention. T. Warren Bevan doing well to change it. Plenty of instructions coming from the sideline. Quite animated at the moment. Here's Murmur cope with being a player down. Mason Smith trying to claim the throw. But it'll be Napier City. Doe, able to get the ball out to Hoyle. See if Schofield's going to clip it in into a very handy position. Allen was there. Got in the way of the group. It fell to him in the six-yard box. But as he was falling back, he was able to get a boot on it. But that only just saw the ball sail over the crossbar. So a decent ball in there from Liam Schofield. And Leaford Allen, the Canadian, coming very close there to opening the Napier City Rovers account. He's done well to get that one too. Everything's turned out well. As Josh Rogerson back on the pitch is able just to head it back into his keeper. Watson flicking it on. Dewa. Sabal tries to. To Mason Smith. Bit of a cry for help there. Some contact in there. As the players worked hard to get the ball. 
Schofield, I think, is just limping that one off. Oscar Mason sends it forward. Allen looks to flick it on and it's coming the way to his brother, Harry Mason. And just couldn't get the right shape on that shot or direction. But he definitely had time and space there to get a good quality shot on. And he'd like to do better with that next, given another opportunity. Five minutes to go in the half here. Things have settled down into a good contest. But those two goals that Miramar have got early. And it's great run in here from Wilson Sophanathon. But the experience of James Hoyle shut, shut that opportunity off straight away. Akers clipping it forward, looking for some space for his, for Mason to work on. All he can do is block the ball from coming out. We've got a goal kick for Miramar Rangers. Sprinkling a crowd around. We can't quite see what's on the hillside, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of locals out enjoying this game of football. A wonderful Sunday afternoon. Hoyle is hoisting that one forward. It's fallen for Lack. Lack trying to get Leaford Allen into the game. You get the kind of feeling that uh, Allen could turn goal scorer at any moment given the chance. Bevan doing very well there to make things hard for Doe. And he's there again. Smith trying to get the ball to Watson. Hoyle just goes back. And gets a return pass. Gets his head up. Plenty of space to move in. To slow things down. Good interchange in there. The Belcher will go forward. Finds Doe. Good bit of width in the play at the moment. McNamara back into Doe. Cleverly played. To going back to Aikens though. Can't find a way out of this. Getting that ball into the final third at the moment, Napier City Rovers. Lucius ball in there, but Aikens has done very well. Neil, strong on the ball, under close attention from Wood. And we'll have a free kick here for Napier. Dearly love to get on the scoreboard in this first half. Clipped into a good area, but the front line defence is strong. Bit of a push in the back. And the referee spotted that one. So Miramar will get us back underway. Nice pass in to give Beeman some space to move in. Considers his option. He'll go left. Great retreating run, defensive run in there from Allen. Back to Schofield, to Doe, under pressure. There's a good run through from Molotovic. And he's thumped the ball in and just can't. Well, he has been able to send it into the neighbor's property, but couldn't get it under the, under the crossbar. Great run in there from Sol Molov Molovic. McNamara under pressure, battling away. 
Looking for the ball. He's hungry for it, and he's managed to get it back for APC Rovers. Allen's got the ball back to Smith. Mason, sorry. And that's the feet coming, getting tangled up there. For Leaford Allen as he worked hard to get that ball. Harry Mason doing well just to get the ball to him. There's not a lot of room in and around that Miramar Rangers defence to work in, and they're really having to for being frustrated in, in their attempts so far. McNamara. Streaming Schofield streaming forward. Clips the ball across, looking at something for someone at the far post. It'll be Akers can get the Miramar out of trouble. And Bevan uncharacteristically loose with his pass there. Wood, go back to the route. Watson doing well to flick it on. Mason clears the lines for Napier as we're into a bit of additional time, I'd suggest. There can't be much more left in this one. Been a couple of stoppages which may account for some additional time. Good pressure in there from Schofield. Works the ball down the line. Nice work in there from Lack. Schofield tries to go back. Sue Franathon doing well defensively for Miramar Rangers. Where's this one going to fall? Mason Smith on it. Giving Akers some room to play with. But he'll go back before it will go forward again, looking for Watson. Lack just propels the ball forward, looking, hoping for something. Here comes Bevan. A bit of room. Gets the ball to Mason Smith. His challenge is a bit too strong on Aitkins. Big switch of play in here as the whistle blows for the first half. Miramar Rangers will be sitting pretty happy in the changing rooms at half time. 2-0 to the good. A goal from Hamish Watson and an unfortunate own goal for Napier City Rovers giving a 2-0 advantage to the home side. We'll be back in a quarter of an hour to continue the central National League game here from David Farrington Park.
David Farrington Park, Wellington. Home side, Mermel Rangers with the 2 0 advantage at the break. Napier City would have been regrouping to try to get themselves into the back end of this game. Looks like a few last instructions in there from Bill Robinson as the team huddles together. As they have achieved. They've achieved some uh, National League status for the rest of the year, which they'd be more than happy with after finishing seventh last year and uh, with their 50th anniversary coming up. They'd be pretty happy, but I'd also like to get their hands on this O'Brien Shield, which Mirror Rangers have had a firm hold of since June 2019. 29 times they've defended it. It's a shield that... Uh, much like the rugby's Ranfilly Shield operates within the Central League and uh, if you're the holder goes on the line any time you have a home game so quite an impressive effort there from Miramar Rangers to hold it for so long let's see what instructions and yeah Napier City can get back into this one or can Miramar close this one out. Looks like it might be a change here. Max Faulkner coming on. 18 year old in his second season of football for Miramar Rangers. I'm trying to uh, I think he might have replaced uh, Will Wilson Sufinathon out there on the wide on the right we'll try to pick up on that one with a false start we're away straighten to Watson with a strong header and he put the ball under pressure and keeper Good hassle and then good press in here from Napier City Rovers. Ball's fed wide. Schofield will whip this into the six-yard box. It's propelled out equally quickly. Ball of Napier City Rovers centre back. Rogerson, I assume. Doe goes forward. Cleared by Falconer. It might have gone out before then. Tidy little set up in there from Leaford Allen. The shot wasn't one to write home about though. 
just didn't fall for the advancing McNamara, I think it was. It might have been uh, Lack. A good opportunity. Hoyle sending it forward. Hoyle again, getting it wide to Schofield. Working the ball into that left hand passage. Falconer trying to just spin his way out of trouble there. Sideline won the battle there. And it's Lack trying to get into that forward line, providing a bit of extra attacking impotence to this Napier City Rovers side. As we said, an early start for the end this morning, 6.30 on the bus down to Wellington. Watson connecting with Mason Smith. Connects with Bevan. Bevan gets Falconer. He returns the ball. Bevan will delay his cross. Falconer going back to do what with a forward run from him. Falconer can't get the ball beyond the defence. Bevan working off Smith, Mason Smith. Nice calm play in there. Aitkins looking for the feet of Watson, but just struck it too well. And Oscar Mason sends the ball long. A bit, too, bit of contact in there, McNamara. Kins protesting his innocence, but setting a nice high line for the defence. Miramar outside the 18 yard box. Schofield's come over with his left foot and whip it in. It's only going to need a wee change of space, but Captain Dewa clears the defence well, and Watson's going to be one on one here. Clips the ball in. Shouts of handball as it knocked against Fergus Neal from Watson. Bevan able to turn, bit of space, considers what he wants to do. Falconer, seen the opportunity with the overlapping run there from Midgley. Falcon, a bit of space here. Steps inside one, bundles through another one. Clips the ball to the top of the area. Akers had some room, tried to just place it in, but the cover defence closed in on him. Dewey gets the ball from Watson, squares it in. Returns it back. Well, he looked across here, no. Settles things down. Harry Mason sending it high. Allen jumping with Belch with Rogerson. Rogerson's got it back, calms it down. And the ball heads into this small part of the park where the camera can't cover. Okay, Mirama throw. Watson flicking it on. Aikens won't let it go beyond him. Wood will get another go at this throw. So we try to get a good bit of length on it, and he does. Looks for Watson, but cut out. Well, Sam Lack. 
Hands, definitely not in a natural position, not for football anyway. So it presents an opportunity here for Miramar. Akers will get amongst it and looks like Falconer is going to get to take this one. Two hands up, flies it in. It's dangerous. What a save in there. Oh, plenty of whistle here. Just a bit of a talking to. It's like Bevan. And Clark's had enough of the chat from Oscar Mason, but Oscar Mason pulling off a great save there under all sorts of pressure from uh, the attack. I think it was Liam Wood who was denied as he put the ball goalward off the Falcon a free kick but sharp reflex save in there from Oscar Mason up the line it goes Good tussle in here. Doe doing well. Under pressure from Akers. It's an opportunity here. McNamara on the ball. Whip it in. It's gone far post. Oh, interesting placement of the defensive header there. Miramar doing well so far to keep this one out. More chances coming the way of Mason. And a nice opportunity in there for Sam Lack, who brought the ball under control well, but just wasn't able to get any sting on that shot. And it ended up very comfortable for De Root. Allen, back to Doe. Doe, heads up. Looks for the advancing. Akers. Akers drives in, feeds it out wide to Neil. Neil drops it in, but well cleared. Watson coming short, gets round one. Skips and tries to skip inside another, but no. Managed to get position back for Napier City Rovers as they work themselves out of pressure and a nice little triangle move. Belcher, so returning the ball back into Mason to switch the ball out, and he'll get him back himself on the on the ball. The Samoan under 20 international. Shadow's getting a bit longer here. Akers and. Mason Smith just unable to connect here, giving Napier the ball. McNamara looks forward, gets the ball to Allen, receives it back. They spread it across to Lack. Lack moves it out to the right-hand side. Tries to craft the ball into the middle, but Captain Sam D was there. He's been doing well defensively, but McNamara here with an opportunity to cross the ball. It's gone straight across. Allen was the closest man to it, but... He might have suspected there would have been a Miramar clearance there. And Napier starting to get things connecting a bit more to create some opportunities for themselves. Dewa. Under pressure from Dari, but able to get the ball forward. Watson's got himself in an offside position, just sits back in. Allen with an opportunity to 
Work some magic inside. He nutmegs through, but doesn't collect it. Now it skips, mid skips midgley. It's the ball off there. This could be an opportunity. Watson with a one on. Plenty of space. Out to Mason Smith. Rolls, checks. Tries to get the ball in. But Aiken's doing well there. He couldn't be fooled. As Mason Smith delayed play just to wait for some support to come. But they got themselves a corner. Next young Max Falconer. Falconer, 18 year old, who's whipped the ball in for the last chance here that Miramar had. And it goes right foot this time. Goes very to the far post. Strong play from Mason Smith. Tries to clip the ball, just can't get it. Falconer. Retains position for his side, Bevan. Mason Smith there. Must have copped a bit of a touch there, Mason Smith. Midgley on the ball. Oh, Just about sliced the ball through that defence there with Watson on there, hoping that it was going to go through. But here's Allen showing some good spark, but well marshalled by Rogerson. There's a wee touch on that shot. Fortunately, it didn't alter the path. Well played by Miramar as they exploit the space on the opposite side. In they go, Watson. Just can't beat Hoyle to it. Good ball fall from Neil. Overlaps. Steers the ball into McNamara, crossing it to a vacant 18-yard line. Unfortunately, starting that move was Lee for Allen, and they really needed him in the box to be able to finish that one. It's encouraging play here from Napier City Rovers. Aikens, back to Belcher. Looks forward, puts it back. To this right hand side. Thought they might have lost position here, but they've got it. Allen's down doing his boot up, so he won't be involved in this attack. Oh, brave defending in there from Miramar Rangers. Another cross providing a challenge to the defence. And it's cleared for the moment, but straight back in. Allen sitting there at the top of the 18 yard box, tries to weave his way through to the strength. Strong Miramar Rangers defense. Watson is happy to stroll into this. Interesting pressure put on the by Hamish Watson once he lost it. Bevan, the room to move. Strikes one in, but well covered by young Oscar Mason. Oh, we'll go back to Belcher. Lack. It's a true ball. Allen's trying to get onto it. Strong on the ball. In the 18 yard lines, looks for McNamara bundled over, but just to come in together. Jonathan McNamara back from the UK after spending a couple of years after getting the COVID shutdown, couldn't get back into New Zealand. And he's 
been provided a good provider of goals for this Napier City Rovers side since returning. And they'll be hoping if he could get on the scorecard today. Watson on the ball. Overlapping run from Bevan. Bevan, back to his captain, Dewa. Continues the spread of the ball to Falter. Falconer. Falconer skips inside, doesn't see an opportunity to cross. Got a little forward run here, the keepers come out. He's done very well to stop Midgley's opportunity. Clever little chip ball through the catch up with the overlapping run Oscar Mason doing well to shut that one down Neil on to Aikens it's the ball back to McNamara flicks the ball forward but well cleared by Miramar defence Hoyle with time to find the right way through this defence clips it far to Neil McNamara spin looks forward who can he kick up with Neil's trying to sneak in behind the shout for a free kick to be given referee considers his, considers his options and has gone for a goal kick like we might have a substitution here Couple of players heading towards the bench for Napier City. We'll see if we can catch up with who that might be. As I say, this uh, unfortunately, the fourth official's position's right in the blind spot of the camera today. Looks like Lee for Allen over there, still struggling with some, uh, the boot. He's been caught doing that up a couple of times. It looks like Andrew Abba, experienced Solomon Islander, been playing in North Shore recently, has just made the transfer to Napier City Rovers. To part of the National League football, no doubt. The 32 year old will provide a good bit of attacking option for the Napier City side. Well, the Akers, his left foot to clip this one in to dangerous area. Watson was up there, but the defence was able to get in the way there. Pretty sure Watson won that header, but as I said, the defence was there. Just Put enough pressure so he couldn't get it on target. Neil with some time. Looks forward, halfway line. Gets it into Allen. Gets the ball back. And just a wee clip on Doe. Stopped his movements. From uh, Bevan there. And we're back underway. Nice play from McNamara. It's Cameron Emerson on the pitch now. In that central midfield area. The ball in. McNamara just, just travelling away from goal as he tried to get his head around it and get the ball goalward. And watch as it crashed into their safety fencing around the goal. So the Cameron Emerson, back from US College and back from injury. He's a coach of the under-15s in the women's tides at Napier City Rovers. Oh, 
Mary and I are going to have a free kick in her. Area probably too far out to be threatening. And it's Falconer who's going to provide an opportunity option for the free kick taker, Captain Sam Zara, who will put it into Watson. Watson gets a bit of it, and he gets the ball back and turns and strikes the ball. They're not far away from being threatening to the Napier City goal. Pounces on any opportunity as Hamus Watson. And it wouldn't be out of character to see him thunder that one in. Doe under pressure from, from Mason Smith, and it was too much for him to handle. The ball sends the ball out of the field. Midgley onto Falconer. Dewa. Oh, McNamara doing very well there to create some space for himself. Down the left hand wing goes, and there's an opportunity for for Andrew Abba on the six yard box. Absolutely free as a bird in there. It was a great ball in from Napier City Rovers, and Abba would not like to see the replay of that one. What an opportunity. 67 gone in the game and Napier have been unable to get themselves a on the score sheet. And now they're going to have to defend a, a corner after Mason Smith's shot was deflected. The group unable to was out of nowhere when that header was uh, when the ball ended up on Andrew Abba's head. Protecting his near post and uh, yes, opportunity lost. But here come Miramar Rangers going to try to cement the game. Miramar not committing a lot to that attack. Allen doing well. Midgley, skip past one. Now under pressure. Watson skips past. Skips past one. Skip, top of the box. Left foot employed to send the ball. Goalward, but it's high and wide this time from Watson. Hoyle is going to get us ball forward. Back out to Acres. Clips it down the line. Back into Miramar position. D1 in the center circle. Sends it out to Falconer. Closed down by Schofield. And we're going to see a corner. Oh, we've got the yellow cards come out. Can't see who has been pointed to at the moment. Or what for, actually. Um, looks like uh, number 20, Christian Leppard's out there for, uh, for Napier City Rovers now as they defend this corner. Oh, arced in there from Josh Rodzinson. Climbed and won the header, direct looped it towards the top corner. And then keeper did very well just to get across and keep that out. So another corner here. Whipped in, similar place, Watson. Getting a good piece of that, but straight into the keeper's hands. The ball's only gone far. There, my word. The cracking shot, I think that was from Selma Vanovic. And it did take a touch on the way there, so we've got another corner. 
So Napier City Rovers have got Christian Leopard on there. He's uh, been playing in the lower grades up at Napier. He was a professional cricketer with Central Districts up until recently. A 24-year-old has made the transfer to football. Gonna, apparently a uh, good athlete. That one's gone very deep. Watson tries to keep it in, but the assistant has raised his flag. Good continuity in here from Napier without getting any forward movement. They're missing there. Just unable to keep it, but they retain position. Napier City. Go. Ball under pressure here from Bevan, but close. But Clip forward, Allen trying to get position, just infringes on the way of doing so. Looks like another change being directed here. This must be a Miramar one. Number 14, Jimmy Summerton going on for Napier City Rovers. Jimmy Summerton coming into the game. He's only a big, big lad, but he's only 17. Coming out of Gisborne Thistle. Go Bevan, getting down the right hand side. Unfortunately, can't able, can't keep the ball under control. Leopard doing well to survive that challenge. And across come Napier City, switching player to find some space. Clipped in and flicked on. Here goes Abba. He's got himself on the right side of the defence. Lofts it over. But the flag might have been raised before he got a chance to get that shot away. At Leaf at Allen doing well there just to flick the ball on. It was well read from Abba. Never on the ball. Falcon are putting pressure on. The busy player. Falconer gets rid of the attentions of McNamara. Referee waves it on. It's an opportunity with a bit of space out here for Mason Smith. Left, getting the ball to McNamara. Drives forward. Clips it out to Summerton. Can't quite get the touch right. Abba moving across the Adenyard box. Get it back to Summerton. Clips it in towards the near post. Keepers come out and spilled it. Back in. It's Leaford Allen has got Napier City Rovers on the board. An unfortunate an unfortunate touch in there from keeper Jack De Groot. Ball spilt to Leaford Allen who was able to turn and snipe the ball in from a couple of yards out. Wow. McNamara just picked up a card there as he's tried to hurriedly get the ball back into play. 76 minutes gone. 
Well, there's a wee bit against the run of play. But the cross in from Jimmy Summerton couldn't be handled by the keeper. And this is a bit closer than Murama would like. Summerton in a bit of space again. Rogerson there with a clearance, but offside. It's been spotted. Flicked on from Watson. Falconer getting on the ball, but Watson's taking it off him. Drives in, but he's gone crashing to the ground, uh, not too comfortably. He remains on the turf. As McNamara looks for a ball forward, goes to Abba. Good ball, Summerton. Underlapping run from Summerton, drives into the six yard box. Allen, strong, goes for the back heel. Fortunately, the defense was strong and it. Didn't breach, get past the first defender. Here comes Napier City Rovers again. Clipped in towards the far post. Well cleared. Only as far as Abba. Ball into the six yard box again. And, and <laughs> it's a great ball in from Schofield. Delivers a great left footed ball, does Liam Schofield. So that one just clashing with McNamara's arm. And looks like we've got a change here for Muramar Rangers. We've got Tia Manuel coming on. The center midfield right by the locks. to finish this game the, uh, as we head into 12 minutes to go. Tia Manuel, his brother Jackson, playing for the Wellington Phoenix. He's back from college in Milwaukee. Amber's looks doesn't look too comfortable down there. Gary Schofield's left foot here as the wind looks to have picked up a bit here. He'll whip it in. Goldwood, all it's going to need is a touch. And it looked like Jimmy Summerton had a wee opportunity, but the ball died on him. He as he was stooping for it, could only put it wide. Head for Hoyle. And again. Emerson going back. Bevan doing well to get the ball. Goes Falconer. Drives the ball out. Trying to switch play, but hooks around easily to the group. It's a decent nudge in there. Maybe that's where the way the wind's going, but strong in there is Mason Smith. As is Cameron Emerson. And to Allen, flicks it on. No red shirts there, and the group will come out and secure the position. Watson. <laughs> Absolutely clobbered from behind there. Just a wee bit too, too much attention there from Fergus Neal. It'll be Acres. It's a ball to Falconer. Puts it into Bevan. Goes on an overlapping run. Bevan 
Trying to weave his magic down the along the baseline. Falcon is dispossessed. Puts the ball back into the six-yard box. Where's it going to fall? And it was out to Sam Dewa, the top of the area. We tried to, well, got a shot on goal, but well defended. And I see another change. Nine minutes to go. Dewa puts the ball in. Well cleared. Aber on the ball, under pressure. Gets the ball forward to Neil. Covers there from Rogerson. Neil's fighting away for it. Allen report a handful up there. Number 15, Ryan Foots on the ball. Has come on from Miramar Rangers. He's on the ball now. Oh, a fortunate ball flick, flick through, but lucky for the Napier City Rovers. Fell safely to the keeper. Well, Ryan Foots, he's returned from injury. He's been over in Sweden. No lay academy product. Also had a, played a bit of football at Nomads United as a junior. Hails from uh, Ashburton. South of Christchurch. Watson putting on the pressure. As is Bevan. Keeper coming out well here. There goes Foots with a bit of space. One on one. Clips and tries to clip the ball under Watson, but he gave up on that one. And the keeper. Mason, Oscar Mason was able to pick that one up and easy transfer the play. Hoyle. Plenty of space and time. Gonna send the ball forward. Looking for Abba. Abba with some space. Rolls it in. And goal kick there. As Fergus Neal with the underlapping run, unable to keep it in. Well met by Emerson. There's an opportunity here for Leopard. Cracks the ball in and it must have been saved. Because we've got a corner. It's quickly taken by Napier City Rovers. And seems to be a bit of a head clash in there. And uh, but the foul's going to go the way. Foul decision's gone the way of Miramar. There's Leaford Allen, must have been judged to have maybe pushed. It was Aikens and, well, no, sorry, it was uh, Wood and Rogerson coming together there. And it's Wood who's stayed down. A bit longer, he's back from two ACL operations, and it's good to see him back out there. The ex Phoenix player, and 
And it wasn't a... Uh, must have been offside. Um, the free kick being out there on the right-hand side for Miramar. Napier City clipping the ball forward. Love to get a bit of a point or so out of this game. We'll give them some confidence. It's Leopard. Jimmy. Jimmy Summit in there driving into the box. It's Mason Smith's got on the ball and he sees something, senses something from long range. But not quite falling for him. Would have given. Uh, Keeper Oscar Mason some heart palpitations as he saw it going over his head and Akers working in with Abba. Abba love to take so loves to take on players and we'll get inside the 18 yard box here. Squares it up. Cuts the ball back, and Allen was there, but just didn't fall for him. Voits into Dewa. Spread it out. Mason Smith, under all sorts of attention, still able to keep the ball. Well, I spoke too soon there. It was... McNamara able to nick it off him and get the ball forward. Only a couple more minutes left in this one. It's Leopard. Clipped in to dangerous area. Well done from the Miramar defence. Foyts able to find a way out to Bevan. Mason Smith through him to play. Switched it out to Watson. Watson's experience tells him to slow it down. Maybe head for the corner. And he's been able to draw a corner. And Watson stands over the corner. Unlikely to take it though. Well, they might just play something a wee bit short here. Foytson, Watson. Watson's so strong in the ball, he's quite happy to spin around with it. Maybe get to another corner. Yes. You could see this uh, happening again. Foyts to Watson. Watson. <laughs> Got Leaford Allen back there, trying to get things to hurry it up. Watson on the ball, clips the ball, and into <laughs> Leaford Allen, who's quite keen to see this game continue. Ball to Watson, strong in there, clips past one, drives into the box. Can they get a constellation here as he drives across the area, flicks it in the direction of. Mason Smith, who now finds himself in the other corner on the ball. As he heads towards the corner, Schofield thought he'd won the throw, but the linesman sees differently. 90 minutes up now. We're in additional time. Yeah, Brian Shield surely is safe in the cabinet. Again for Miramar Rangers. They got the ball at the right end of the park at the right time of the game. And Watson. Keen to do the, uh, keep the ball in the corner track. Clips it in against Schofield and gets another corner. And are we flicking... Flick into the oncoming players from Watson. Oh, 
Offside been given. Ends Mason Smith. Oscar Mason going to send this one forward. They're not going to give up on trying to get another goal here, Napier City. It's cracked in. Goalwood, but well under control from Jack de Groot. Watson. Fruits trying to get the ball. He's got under control. All sorts of pressure. And Fruits doing well there to get the ball, but no, it's back in with Abba, who stroke drives across the halfway line. Drove great little ball into. There was McNamara who got through, and that's a second yellow for him, I believe. As he tried to get it just a touch on it, all he could do was collect a group as he came out to safely secure the ball. Well, if Jonathan McNamara had managed to get a touch on that, he would have, he would have been... Uh, would have sailed past De Groot, but missed the ball, got the keeper, and referee Clark having very little option but to send McNamara to the sidelines. Good strong play from Leaford Allen. Gets Leopard forward. Leopard putting the ball in and off. In and off uh, Scott Midgley there. And there's going to be one last hurrah here for Napier City. Even Oscar Mason has come forward for this one. Everything's committed for Napier City Rovers. It's fallen in there and it's rocketed across it off the bar and it cleared off the line. The keeper's there, cracked in from Cameron Emerson. But it sails across the bar. Oh, how close can you get? It's a decent corner in. Off the crossbar, off the line from Miramar. To had to we're having to work so hard to keep the three points all theirs and there it is a frustrated group of players in uh, red shirts so close to being able to get themselves level in this game and a relieved Miramar Rangers will exit this pitch with all three points and we'll head into next week's game against Wellington Olympic considering that they possibly considering that they would have won t if they won today for a quite a finale here in the Central League let's have a look at a few of the highlights now as we the teams congratulate each other Well, it was Hamish Watson who turned his marker inside and out and crashed the ball across. And moments later, unfortunately for Napier, an own goal was scored. This one was a great save by keeper Watson. Always threatened throughout the whole game. A couple of corners were dangerous. And it was Josh Rogerson who came close there. Here's the goal that Leaford Allen got Napier City back in with. Here's the last play off the crossbar, off the line. And finally sent over the bar as Napier City Rovers tried to get that draw in the dying stages. They committed everything to that last attack and come up a bit short
the O'Brien Shield will stay with Miramar Rangers. That's the Napier City season over in the Central League. They've got themselves qualified, so they'll be more than happy with that. And Miramar Rangers will go in against Wellington Olympic on the 23rd to decide the title here of the Central League.